All right, we're doing feature ads. So, new feature, you can now download company reviews from Indeed as well as Glassdoor. I'm also working on Team Blind, but that might be, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. So you'll need to go pick a company. We're going to choose Stripe. And here we are. And just go to reviews. And now you should be able to download Stripe company reviews. So click that button and oh, it's really fast because there's only seven reviews. Uh, so let's choose one maybe that's a little bit less quick just so you can get a feel, feel for how, how it goes. Maybe square, 108 reviews. Yeah, that'll be a good time. All right, so it's going to go pretty quickly as well. A few seconds actually. Um, so uh, Indeed goes pretty quickly. It's uh, you can churn through a big company in I don't know, a few minutes, really, uh, certainly less than an hour. And this is the output and what it looks like. You get kind of the standard interface here for the rest of the quickly tools where, or at least on the new version where you can download the conversion. That's a TSV file. Uh, if you've not dealt with TSV files before, just Google it. It's not that difficult. Uh, I just prefer not to work with CSVs, comma separated. Or you can just download the raw JSON file if you like that. And then on Glassdoor, it's the same process. It does take quite a bit longer though. So you see in this case, I'm downloading 34,000 reviews from Microsoft and it's showing me about two and a half hours before it's complete. I started this up, I don't know, probably 15, 20 minutes ago. So for you could say roughly one hour per 10K reviews is approximately what it will take to complete on Glassdoor. Uh, if for whatever reason you get tired of waiting, maybe you just want the most rev recent reviews anyway, you can click this button here that says download current progress and it will give you this uh, interface to download. And you can see it's showing 3,400 results. And then when you download that, you'll have it and you can just keep letting this go right it'll keep running here for you so why might you want to use this i use it for market research it's useful to be able to understand what people are saying about the company i have some additional functions that i run up on top of this to categorize titles um, so that it's easier for me to do a comparison comparative analysis because people don't necessarily use standard titles here right uh, you might see principal hardware engineer, anonymous employee, senior program manager. They're not necessarily going to be standard across all. I have something that I built for that. It's not included in this just because, I don't know, I guess I could, but I'm not going to for now. Oh, one thing I guess you that's worth noting is in the case of Indeed, they require you to review your company in order to look at those reviews. You don't actually have to do that. Um, cause the data's here, it's underneath it. They're just running JavaScript on top to obfuscate it. So, uh, you can get it without and on team blind, which I'm working on that I'll have completed soon. Uh, it's the same thing. You don't actually have to leave a review if you don't want to, um, in order to pull out the data. But anyway, yeah. So if you want this, just to refresh the extension, it'll push the updated code to your system and you'll be all set.